Celebrating Valentine's Day all week long, our center square, the goddess of love, Dame Edna, will be here along with some of Hollywood's hottest couples to join us for that. You, you're our other goddess of love. <laughs> Don't pout. Just start the game. Fine. <laughs> Tiebreaker game's worth $2,000, and Vera, you get to start. Okay, Ellen DeGeneres, oh, please. Okay. Oh, dear goddess, men's health says if you give a woman one of these, you're going to get back her love, respect, and devotion. If you give her, if you give her what? The Heimlich maneuver. <laughs> Especially on choking women. Seriously, yeah, right. they're so devoted to you after that. Thankful. And you can cop a feel at the same time. <laughs> not really, because if you're copping a feel, you're not doing it correctly. <laughs> and respect. I would say if you give her those things. If you give her those things, you'll get them back in kind. I agree. No. no. <laughs> what do I know about That's women? All. figure is known as Our Lady of Copacabana, Our Lady of Las Vegas, and Our Lady of the Milk and Happy Delivery. <laughs> Who is she? Oh, well, at the risk of being sacrilegious, yeah, the Virgin Mary? <laughs> I disagree. Our Lady of the Copacabana is, in fact, the Virgin Mary. She's not. Yes. Sir, <laughs> Paul, guess She's where. not. Please. Martin Mall, all right, Martin. According to the nursery rhyme, you'd ride a cock horse to Banbury Cross, but what is a cock horse? <laughs> it's, it's a nickname that I never particularly like. I felt it was demeaning. Um, you know, it's been years, but still things stick with you. you know? <laughs> Uh, it's a hobby horse. Oh, God. I agree. Yes, that's right. It's a toy. It's a hobby horse. Right. Correct. <laughs> Circle gets it. No. Roll McDowney for the block. Roll McDowney for a square, anyway. Uh, all right, Roll for her, for her role in the new 007 film, Madonna reportedly insisted her character be what? Oh, a singer. I disagree. No, uh, a lesbian. Uh, a lesbian. That's, oh. yeah, that's, that's, that's a square. Vera? Um, Doris Roberts, please. Doris Roberts. All right, Doris. According to the hit Randy Newman song, they got little hands and little eyes, and they walk around telling great big lies. Who? The William Morris agency. <laughs> Politicians. I disagree. Short people. <laughs> got no reason to live. Short people. Circle gets that one. Go. Can you thanks for the block, please? Oh, no. no. Okay. A strategy I've yet to see. <laughs> never know. The block again. It's a stealth block, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> when, when visiting America, what did Charles Dickens call a slimy monster, hideous to behold? Ooh. Whoa. Uh, Miss October, 1853. <laughs> That's not it. Uh, an alligator. Disagree. The Mississippi River. There you go. Gets that one, Vera. Oh. Jeffrey Tambor for the win. Jeffrey for the win. And another $2,000. All right. A Greek strokes his cheek, an Arab pulls his beard, and an Italian sticks his finger into his cheek to say what about a woman? And a, a, a Jewish boy goes like this. <laughs> uh, 
pretty girl. Pretty. Pretty girl. Pretty girl. Pretty girl for the win. I agree. Girl's pretty. Yeah. Circle gets it. We have a little visual help here. What was Michael Jackson's first, uh, oh, that was seven noses ago. What was Michael Jackson's first solo number one hit? Ben, want to be starting something or don't stop till you get enough? Well, first of all, that was a picture of my Aunt Dorothy. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, we haven't perfected the system. Do you have anything with Michael Jackson? <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with the little rat, Ben. Ben. I'll agree. That's it. Ben, X gets the square, the secret square shot. And we get a break. Hi, Aisha. Hi, Aisha. In America, they're found in drugstores, but in Japan, they're sold door-to-door -door by women who also instruct housewives how to use them. What are they? Tough one. Disposable diapers? Hmm. I disagree. Condoms. <laughs> I was afraid that was Condoms, yeah, circle. That's the square. Honey, what are you doing with that saleswoman? Uh, Kevin? Little Richard for the block, please. Little Richard for the block! Great to have you back this week, Little Richard. Thank you. What's the only kind of music that showed a significant gain in sales in 2002? Mm, I know it wasn't too fruity. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know what it was because I had something to do with it. <laughs> I have something to do with all of it, really. That's right. That's right. You're uh, uh, You tell him. Uh, 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 see which one was it. It was um, uh, well, hip hop. Wouldn't you say hip hop? Okay, hip hop. I'll disagree. Gospel rose 18 percent. Everything else decreased except country, which rose by less than a percent. X gets a block there, Kathy. Uh, Kathy Griffin. Kathy Griffin at the Rod Factory Wednesday nights in LA through October. Hugh Hefner actually has a species of animal name for him. What kind of animal is it? It's probably the crab. <laughs> oh. I'm just saying, if you spend any time in the grotto, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, well, I'm just thinking because he's at the mansion with that like wildlife preserve, whatever the hell's going on over there. Um, I'm going to say a tiger. I'll disagree. That's a species of rabbit named <laughs> after a... Actually, Circle gets the block. All right, Kevin. Anna Nicole Smith, Kim, and Sugar Pie, All please. All right, you three. True or false, scientists have classified Uranus as a gas giant because it has no solid surface. Uh... Wow. 50-50. Uh, I'm going to have to say false. It's true. It says false. false. I'll agree. No, it's actually true. It's true. So I uh, can't give you that one, Kathy. You'll have to earn it yourself. You'll have that chance when we come back. Tension headaches in the morning, afternoon, or evening? Um, I'm going to say I never get headaches, but what would you like to say, Kim? Well, I think if you asked a lot of the husbands out there, they'd say their wives get them at night. Okay. So, well, all right. So, evening. I'm going to disagree. No, afternoon, afternoon, according to Women's Fitness Magazine. So, Circle gets the square. This next game's worth... round time. New champion, Kathy Wallet, has added $4,000 to hers. And now... Oh, good stuff. Ready for this? Look over there. All right, see those nine keys over there? I sure do. One of them starts. Tell them, Jeffrey. Come on, put your top down. It's the new Ford Mustang convertible. Stir your passion for driving and freedom worth $25,685. Okay. Now, to now, we found out a little bit about what the stars know. Here's where we find out, courtesy of the Epiphany Lighting Company, <laughs> how much you know about the stars. Oh, good.
Is it just me or did you get a rush then too? A tingle. <laughs> Very impressive, Bergeron. <laughs> All right, you pick a square. I'll read a statement about that star. If you agree or disagree correctly, you've won the square. At the end of 30 seconds, for every square you've won, we'll take away a bad key. The more squares you win, obviously, the better your odds of uh, starting the car. But 30 seconds on the clock. Clock starts ticking when you pick your first star, Kath. All righty, Martin Mull. Martin Mull has a $50,000 collection of bluegrass banjos. Agreed. No, next. Will the Richard. Little Richard is the voice of Lenny on The Simpsons. Paul, I disagree. Correct. Next. Kathy Griffin. Kathy appeared in Eminem's video, The Real Slim Shady. I disagree. Incorrect. Next. Shaka Thai. Shaka's diehard fans are called Chocaholics. Uh, agree. Correct. Next. Ellen. Did you know? Ellen rode in a dog sled race in Alaska for charity. All right, we're out of time. <laughs> Let's head over to the Keys. What do you say? Join me over here, Kathy. Kathy, now you got two correct answers, so we're going to take away two bad keys, leaving seven left. One of them will start this car. What do you think? Uh, okay, there's five kids. One, two, three, four, five. Winner, right here. All right, go for it. I hope that works. Children. No! <laughs> Come on! Come on out here! Let's, let's find out. Let's find out which key would have started the car. That one oh, over there. Like there okay. you go. I know. Well, you know what? You get to come back uh, tomorrow. Uh, those two squares will give you an extra thousand dollars in cash, giving you a total today of five thousand right. dollars. That's not bad. And if you make it this far tomorrow, you'll start with only eight keys. All right. All right, we'll take another one away that happen oh, this, this is this is a benign thing it's okay yes it did happen i agree when doctors prepped his groin he just thought the inflammation spread <laughs> it's true uh, circle gets the block very trusting guy sam steve valentine for the block please all right coroner dr nigel townsend on nbc's crossing jordan Steve, when David Blaine spent a week buried alive in a coffin, he had three life-saving things in there with him, oxygen, water, and what? I think that's two things too many, isn't it? <laughs> um, I think the third thing was uh, he had for good luck, he had this cape that used to be owned by Harry Houdini, and he bought it in auction, and he took it with him for good luck. Okay. I disagree. Oh, he had a panic button. Oh, there you go. Uh, X gets to the block there. current visitors to Rome not able to view the remains of the famous Parthenon? This is a trick question, right? Because because this, this has a double answer. Because I went to the Parthenon, and it's got all this scaffolding all around it. But I went to the Parthenon, it wasn't in Rome. <laughs> all right. Uh, so, I'm... <laughs> so, so your answer is is there's a lot of scaffolding and stuff around it because they're doing stuff but it's not in rome <laughs> so so it's not in rome i disagree it's in athens as a matter of fact yeah athens greece uh can't give you that one sam uh eric roberts for the win for please. the win and a tie game all right you you've got bats in your belfry What's a belfry? I know this because my my grandmother was a seamstress. It's a pair of pants. I disagree. <laughs> no, it's a it's a bell tower. It's a bell tower. We have a tie game. Excellent. Here we go. In Norway, it was called the thing, and in Iceland, it's the all thing. What do we call it? Oh, and I am so sick of hearing about it. It's the Bowflex. <laughs> <laughs> Just one more time, and that TV's going. Um, 
the Loch Ness Monster. Okay. I disagree. We call it Congress. Uh, the legislature X gets the square. Statue of Liberty show any leg? Well, well I was just out okay. there with my with my uh, two children, uh, Riley Rose and Bo, young kids. We went to the Statue of Liberty and we did the tour. We saw. We did you see the leg? You no, know, we saw the we saw the feet. We saw we saw the toes of the Statue of Liberty. So did, does it show any feet? Is it just the so toes? it shows feet? Doesn't show leg. How much leg did it show? It just shows the toes and See, the feet. See, the show the feet are in Athens. Yeah, the scaffolding. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a trick question. No, it doesn't. It just shows the gown and and the, and the feet. And the, no so leg. No leg. No leg. I agree. Yeah, there's no leg. It's all covered up except for part of the foot. Right. Circle. Yes, the square. We're gonna put scaffolding around the show, and we'll be right back as soon as we fix it. We'll be right back. Stay there. Defending champion Sam, your turn. Scott Hamilton, please. All right, Scott, wow. here we go. Easy up here. Which vegetable, a member of the lily family, can grow 10 inches a day? <laughs> I wish I knew. <laughs> <laughs> I need it every day. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, actually, it's corn. I agree. Actually, it's asparagus. <laughs> uh, circle gets that one. Faith, break for you. Mark Curry. Yeah. All right, host of BET is coming to the stage Tuesdays, 9 o'clock. All right, Mark, when does Miss Manners say you should tip your flight attendant? You should always tip your flight attendant. It's customary um, to always tip them, give them a little envelope, and just give them a little tip. And uh, it's very customary. People don't do it, but, you know, it's customary that you do it. Mark, okay. be quiet. I disagree. Never, never tip oh. your flight attendant. No. Oh, the the and a circle gets the square. Sam? Steve Valentine for the block. Steve, Steve for the block. All right, Steve, here we go. The drought. The drought had lasted now for 10 million years, and the reign of the terrible lizards had long since ended. This is the first line of what? <laughs> Sounds like a guidebook to Tucson, Arizona, doesn't it? <laughs> well, it's a great place, but please, somebody plant a tree. Um, I, I actually studied this in, in college because we did a course called Psychoceramics, which is the study of crackpots in... Li oh, wait. Okay. In, oh, you're booing everyone, aren't you? Um, and this is actually the first line from the novel, 2001, A Space Odyssey. I disagree. Laugh if you must, but no, it is. The first line of 2001, A Space Odyssey. Can't give you that one, Faith. You have to earn it yourself. I'm going Brooks Burke for the win. For the win and the championship. Brooks 2004 calendar is in stores and right behind my podium. All right, Brooke, according to a Today Show expert, is it advisable for a 60-year-old man to have sex on a full stomach? Wow, so does that mean that after whining and dining, one would be advised not to have sex? God, I, I can't believe that that's true. No, I disagree. Today Show says, uh, no, he should not have sex, so Circle gets the square. <laughs> and we have a new champion. Jeffrey Tambor, the voice of this fine show. How about giving it up for our center square this week, Howie Mandel. Right back at you, Wimbledon. <laughs> and let's welcome back our returning champion. She's already cleaned us out of $19,851 in cash and trips and things. Libby Reader, welcome back, Libby. And Orlando Medley is 
Mr. X today. Welcome, Orlando. Good to have you here. All right. This is Tic-Tac-Toe. All you have to do is decide if the answers you're getting from the stars are correct or they're making them up. That's how you get the squares. First game is always a $1,000 game. And as the challenger, Orlando, you start. Howie Mandel, please. Howie Mandel, appearing at the MGM Grand in Vegas, April 24th to May 7th. I'll be there. Howie, if yeah. you're like most respondents in a recent poll, this is your number one pet peeve when you're on an airplane. What is it? Ooh. My number one pet peeve? Yeah. Um, to be honest with you, I, I don't know if this is correct, but my number one pet peeve is the change table in the bathrooms. They, uh, I was on a I flew out here actually to do this, mm -hmm. and I was changing my pants, and you, you have. It just it, it doesn't hold it doesn't hold your weight. For babies. <laughs> that's, for, that's for babies to change diapers. And where do I change myself? <laughs> boom boom. I would say the size of the bathrooms. The size of the bathrooms. I disagree. It's when someone's kicking your seat, you know, oh, you're trying to... Yes, yes, yes. The yes, 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 That's right. Yes. So, what did you, you did, Yeah, I forgot what we did with you over there. The Benigree, X gets the square. Libby? Big Show. Big Show! <laughs> WrestleMania 19 is live uh, March 30th, only on pay-per-view. It's it's good to see you again, Big Show. Right, We're not getting the full Big Show view with you sitting in it. There we he's go. There huge. we go. Ow! Yeah, he's <laughs> there he is. I'm going to do a few reps of how you bought me. Stop that. <laughs> hey, Big Show, it's Little Not Jew up here. <laughs> hey, Big Show, who won more medals at the 1980 Summer Olympics, the United States or Bulgaria? 1980 Olympics. Um, I think it was uh, Bul Bulgaria. I think Bulgaria. I agree. Yeah, because we boycotted that year, so we didn't even show. Circle gets the square. Orlando. George Wallace, please. George Wallace appearing at Zanies in Nashville, May 2nd and 3rd. I am? You are. You are, okay, yes. Okay, tell me where I'm going to be. I don't know where I'm going to be. You, you don't know where you're going to be? I just go where you tell me to go. You said I'm going to be in Nashville, I'm going to be in Nashville. <laughs> I wield such power at this little plywood podium, don't I? Yes, you do. Those packages of silica gel found packed in new shoe boxes and electronic equipment always say, do not eat. What would happen if you ate one? You would explode. <laughs> you would explode, go boom boom! <laughs> yeah, boom, boom. <laughs> uh, you would uh, get constipated. Mm -hmm. All right. I uh, disagree. Nothing would happen. It's a purified form of sand. You might lose a little moisture. Okay. Maybe. That's about it. X gets the square. Uh, yeah. Libby? Mama for the block. Oh, for Thank the block. You. Mama. Oh, By the way, the Vicky Lawrence and Mama two-woman show is April 27th at the Renaissance Theater in Mansfield, Ohio. Natalie Maines, lead singer of Dixie Chicks, says she'd like to be asked to judge what? You know, I love the Dixie Chicks so much, sweetie, because, you know, I'm a Southern girl myself. I love these girls, and Natalie has such a beautiful voice. I'm going to bet you that she'd like to judge something like American Idol. I agree. She says she'd be more ruthless than Simon. That's right. Yeah, right. Simon right. gets the block. Orlando. Martin Mulls for the block. Martin Mulls for the block. All right, Martin. The... Public nudity charges against seven men for bearing it all during Toronto's recent gay pride parade were dropped. Why? Well, it was it was really two stages of humiliation. First of all, it was removed to small claims. <laughs> <laughs> and then the evidence wouldn't stand up in court. <laughs> no, I believe um, it was dropped because they were members of the clergy. <laughs> I disagree. You know, sometimes the strangest answers are true. Th this isn't one of those times. Uh, they were wearing shoes is why. That's, uh, so X gets a block there. That's kind of strange. Libby? Ben Stein for the block. For the block. Uh, ben, by the way, Ben is a celebrity judge on Star Search uh, Wednesday and Friday on CBS. Ben in the movie E.T. points to Elliot's forehead and says one final thing. Before he leaves, what is it? He says, um, goodbye. I disagree. He says, I'll be right here. Circle gets the block there. We get a break.